G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is a way of working the square root out of our numbers. These are going to be looking where we've got the square, perfect squares that are occurring less than 100, but we how to work these out in just seconds. Okay, so I'll show you how to do this. Anyway, so first off, I'll give you an example. So how fast can you work out the square root of 576? I'll give you a couple of seconds. Okay, time's up. Now, did you get the answer of positive or minus 24? <laughs> if you did, that's 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 great. You got the right answer there. If not, uh, I'm going to show you how to do these. Now, just by the way, before I get any further, the square root here, it's really important that you actually identify this as a positive or negative answer because, say, negative 24 times negative 24 gives us the answer of 526. The same way 24 times 24 gives us the answer of 576. So just before I go on, just, just make a note of that. Uh, having said that, I'm probably not going to worry about doing the positive and minus for the, uh, the, the rest of these numbers here. I'm just going to put them down as uh, numbers and you can assume that there's a positive and minus there. So I'm going to show you how we do this and it's going to involve knowing your squares all the way up to I've done it up to nine because I think you should probably know ten squared I think you should know these already anyway I think probably most of you will but you're going to see that I've got jotted down here the squares one squared is one two squared is four three squared is nine four squared is sixteen and so on and so forth we're going to be using these a fair bit you're also also going to notice first off that I've actually uh, put the units of these in a different color I'm just going to draw your attention to those actually right now when we first are working out our answer here. So the way that we do it is as follows. The way we work out the square root of 576 using this is as follows. Okay, so first thing we do is we have a look at this particular unit's answer, the number here, okay, the 6. And we're looking for a square root here that corresponds to this, or a square, sorry, a square that corresponds to this. So 16 does and 36 does. And the square root that goes alongside of those, we have 4 when we're talking about uh, 16, and we have 6 when we're talking about 36. So our answer is going to finish in a 4 or a 6. And we're going to work out for sure which one this is in a little second. But first off, we have to work out now our, uh, <laughs> our first digit. So I'm going to cross out these two digits. It's the next thing we do and we just deal directly now with this 5, okay? Now, we're going to have a look here, along here, in our square answers here, and we're looking for a number that occurs just below 5. So it's either going to be the number 5 itself, or the one closest to 5, which is under, okay? So you're going to go along here, and you can see 1, 4, 4 is just under 5, and 9 is too much, so we're going to be dealing with this 4. Now, the square root of 4, is 2. Two's the first part of our answer. Okay. Now, we're almost there. Now we have to just work out whether or not we're dealing with, is it 24 or 26 is our answer. And the way we do this as follows is we get our 2 here and we just multiply it by the next number up. Okay. And I mean the next number up from 2, which is 3. So 2 times 3 equals 6. Now, we have a look at this 6 and Pretty much what we do is as follows. If this 5 here is less than this 6, we choose the lesser number. Okay. If it was more, we choose the bigger number. Okay. So 2 times 3 is 6. 5 is less than 6, so we choose the lesser number here. So our answer is 24. Okay, that was a bit of going through. I'll tell you what, we'll go through a couple more of these. You'll pick them up as we go along. And then what I'd recommend is you'll probably... Uh, be able to start pausing it and giving it a go. Okay, so let's uh, get into another one of these. So what about we do 1,849, and we're going to work out the square root of this. So first off, once again, what we do is we're looking at this 9 here. Okay, the 9, and the number that goes along with our 9 could either be a 3 or a 7. You can notice these complementary numbers add up to 10 too, it's, it's kind of a handy little thing. The next thing I do is I cross out these two numbers. Okay, so our answer is going to finish in a 3 or a 7. Now I look at this 18. So 18, and I go down here, and I'm looking, and 16 just occurs below 18. 25 is too much, so the square root of 16 is 4. The first part of our answer is 4. 
Okay, 4 times 5, okay, 4 times 5 is 20. And now I compare this to 18 here. So 18, as you'll see, is less than 20. So we choose, once again, the lesser number. Okay, so our answer is 43. You get faster and faster and faster at these. Okay, keep practicing them. You, you will get used to doing them. Okay. Okay, what about uh, one more of these? Uh, 3,364. Okay, pause it. Give it a go. Okay, so looking at the last number here, it could be either a 2 or an 8. Okay, so let's cross out these two digits here. And now what we do is we are looking for that first digit. Okay, so it's going to be a 5. Okay, you're probably working that out really, really quickly. Okay, um, because... 5, 5 is 25, 6, 6 is a 36, that's too much, isn't it? So, let's go 5 times 6. 5 times 6 is 30. 33 is bigger than 30. So we're going to choose the bigger number. We have an 8. So our answer is 58. Okay. What about another one? What about... We have a different one here. We'll do uh, 2,025. Now this is a nice and easy one, and you'll see why. Okay, pause it and give it a go. Okay, so 2,025. You're going to see that it can only be a five at the end here because there's no other option. Okay, cross it out, and then we're looking for the number which is going to be occurring under here. Okay, so four squared is going to be 16. Five squared's too much, so it's going to be a four. But this is our answer. Because we don't need to differentiate between whether it's a 5 or... That. It's, it's just that 5, isn't it? So 45 times 45, that's our answer. Pretty cool, right? Um, okay, a couple more of these. Just uh, I've got about three more of these. I'll, I'll put them out there. I reckon we practicing them and let's see how you go. So 5,184. Okay, so our last number could either be a 2 or an 8. Okay, uh, 7 squared is 49, so this is going to be a 7. Okay, uh, 7 times 8 is 56, and 56 is, uh, 51 is less than 56, so we're going to choose the 2. Okay, this is how I start doing these in my head. I'm going to start doing them more and more like this. I'm going to do the rest of them like that, I reckon. So, what about 1,444? Okay, so the last number here could be a 2, or it could be an 8. Okay, so 14, uh, 16 squares, uh, 4 squares too much, 3 squares good, so it's going to be a 3. 3 4s are 12, 14 is greater than 12, so we're going to choose the greater number, which is an 8. 38. Alright, lucky last one out of all of them is 8,281. Okay, so as you see here, 81. Um, well, 81, we could, I'm only going to look at the last number here, I know it's sort of tempting to go 81, hey wait a second, that's 9, I'm only going to look at the last digit here, so 81, it could be a 1 or a 9, okay, so what we'll do now is, we'll cross that out, and 82, okay, so 82 <laughs> Once again, this is going to be a 9, okay? Well, it's not going to be a 9, because it's not necessarily a 9. So, we've got 9, okay? So, 9 times 10 is 90. 82 is less than 90, so we're going to choose the lesser value. We've got 91. Anyway, what did you think of that particular trick there? It's, it's not a bad trick, okay? It does take a bit of getting used to it, but once you get used to it, it's actually fairly handy, okay? And it's a great little way of working them out. You start to be able to work them out, as you see towards the end, much, 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 much faster, okay? And yeah, you will make the odd mistake, but hey, everybody does this. Hey, now, in a future couple of videos, I am going to be looking at about how to work out the R, uh, how to calculate squares of any number okay the laborious slow way of doing this but it's not the slowest way ever just a nice little trick for doing these and something you may or may not know how to do already anyway thanks for watching see you next time